whenever we uh, connect to the internet, most of the times we use a browser. I'll just do a quick sketch here. We enter a address here <laughs> and we make a request to some backend server that is a computer connected to the internet listening for our requests. This server has some web pages. These are files stored on the server's hard drive. And whenever we request a page, for example here index.html, the server responds by sending back this file, which includes code that gets parsed and translated in the browser and then displayed as content, which includes, of course, text, video, images, sound, etc. So in this rough sketch, this is the front end, this is, this is what we see as front end users or uh, web clients, you might say, and this is the back end. So this is a system that prepares uh, the content either dynamically, so this server might run a backend programming language such as Java or JavaScript that creates um, on the fly this content, these HTML pages and send them to the users or maybe it stores some kind of uh, created web pages that are waiting for the hard in the in the web service hard drive for a request and then are uploaded to the users. So this is the backend and this is what we refer as the as the backend. Everything that works in this area, in this domain is called the backend. That is programming lang languages running on the server, Java, PHP, Python, JavaScript creating the content that will be delivered to the user on what we call the front end.